fine so so it becomes this this is e right upon e left okay i could also represent it like this i could also represent it like this that e cell is equal to e cell standard minus rt upon 2f to ln zn2 plus if i take the reciprocal it becomes something like this okay okay Now I can plug in the values of R, T and F. R is equal to 8.314 Joule per mole per Kelvin. Okay. And, and say take T as 298K which is nothing but 25 degrees centigrade. And the value of of Faraday's constant the value of Faraday's constant which we had earlier calculated and I guess it was 9 6 8 4 7 no no, 487, 487 coulomb per mole. Okay. So if I put these values, what do I get? I get E cell is equal to E cell. Here, here they have written, written left upon right, right? So, so you have to keep that in mind. This is left upon right. Here it was right upon left. So, so that minus, there is another thing. When I say ln, it is actually log something, x base e is known as ln x. Okay, now there is a base changing rule in, in logarithms and that says, if you want to change the base, so, so it says that if log b base a is there and you, and you want to change the base, then you do this. You write it as log b upon log of whatever is the base here earlier in the original now you put your own new base right so if you want to change it by say something c you can even write like that so what happens my log base e can be written as log x upon log e and i put the base as 10 because the standard logarithmic table that you'll get that has the base as as 10 okay and and so do i erase this this part okay so so what is this this is this is actually this and there is another formula of log which says ln a base b is equal to 1 upon ln b base a. Okay, so this is when this goes up. So 1 upon this is actually log 10 base e log x base 10. So that becomes and this value is actually 2.303 log x base 10. So, so what do I get? This is a side formula that you should know that log x base e is equal to 2.303 log x base 10. So I'll, I'll do that as well. So I'll put 8.314 into 298 upon 2 into, into or, or I'll not take this into consideration. I'll, I'll put into 96487 okay into 2.303 log zn2 plus 
डिवाइडेड बाय सी यू टू प्लस करेक्ट वी गेट द पॉइंट सो सो व्हाट वी डू इज इज टू कन्वर्ट इट सो सो व्हेन आई राइट लॉग हियर इट इट ऑटोमेटिकली मींस दैट द बेस इज टेन ओके नो नीड टू राइट दैट सो आई आई कैन आई कैन फोर गो दैट ओके लॉग एक्स लॉग एक्स बेस यू okay so this is a conversion this is a conversion that that we should know so so what does it give what does it give us i'll be using the calculator i'll be using the calculator and and let's see what we get so i have i have 8.314 into 298 Okay. Into two point three zero three divided by nine six four eight seven nine six four eight seven is equal to is equal to hold on eight point three one four into two nine eight into two point three zero three. Divided by nine six four eight seven. That gives me point zero five nine. So that is that is. So I get E cell minus E cell not minus point zero five nine upon two log Z n two plus. So this is L upon R. Hold on. So keep that into account. Okay. So E cell is that. That is our cell potential. This is cell potential, right? This is our. cell potential fine now you could have asked me you you you, uh, you could be asking what is what is this why don't you divide it by 2 because see we are now trying to formulate a general kind of thing where you, where you are able to see the see the equation and see the equation and 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 calculate the this is power mole and, and calculate the cell potential like this remembering that this is left this is right left upon right or or when it is negative or right upon left when it is positive it's one and the same thing okay i prefer to use this however the books normally use this okay so it's left upon right now this is the number of electrons involved and in some other equation say ag plus slash ag this will become one so so this so that's why rt upon f into 2.303 that remains a common with all right r will be there t will be there r will be there t will be there f will be there and this conversion into log will be there and that value is 0.059 this is absolutely dependent on the number of electrons exchanged this is actually n it is n equal to 2 so in in some other equation if it is say one electron exchanged then this will become one fine that's why i am not dividing and and making it as one constant you should remember that fine okay 